Welcome Jackals fans to another morning skate report. I'm Jordan Myers. Tonight, your Jackals take on the Kalamazoo Wings for the fourth time this season. Your Jackals are 1-1-1 one, one, and one versus them this season. Jared Abbott sat down with veteran Kyle Bushy to talk about tonight's game. Jared? Thanks, Jordan. I'm here with uh, Jackals defenseman Kyle Bushy. Kyle, you guys won on Sunday, so let's just start there. You know, one win. Now, uh, what do you have to do to get that number two tonight? Um, we just got to keep keep playing well. Um, obviously, we, we got a big win on Sunday. We needed to salvage something from that weekend. And uh, did a good job uh, putting pucks where we needed to, getting getting a four check, and uh, really eliminating chances in our D zone. And we just got to keep playing hard, playing well, and, and stick to what we do best. You guys played very good defensively on Sunday. Uh, what was it about the D zone coverage that you guys seemed to just click on that day? Uh, well, I think we finally stopped chasing them. Uh, they're they're a really good cycling team. They're good in the offensive zone. They they get guys lost high, and I think we did a real good job of just communicating with each other and and, f and helping each other out, letting guys know where guys are, and and started eliminating bodies, which freed up our other opportunities for guys to get the puck and get the breakout going. Last time you played Kalamazoo, tonight's opponent, uh, you scored the game-winning goal. So it, it, do you look to uh, jump into the play offensively? Maybe uh, this team is, I, I know you tend to do that in general, but against this team? Um, yeah, they, they're a very good team, and uh, they come really hard. And sometimes when they forecheck like that, it, it creates an opportunity for that weak side D-man to get in the play and create an odd-man rush. Uh, obviously, you can't force it, but uh, anytime I feel I can give our forwards an opportunity or an advantage, I'd like to take advantage of that. Now, you had your 100th career ECHL assist uh, just over a week ago now. What does that mean to you that you've been in this league and you've been so successful? I actually didn't know that until um, now, but uh, I've just been fortunate to play with good players. I've uh, been putting a lot of opportunities to succeed and I like to think I took advantage of some of them and hopefully uh, just continue to have success, just work hard. And uh, a lot of the times it's just lack of a balance or uh, honestly, it just I don't even really think about it. it. Just It's nice to know, but hopefully we, I'd rather just keep winning than rack up the personal accolades. As one of the veterans on this team and one of the leaders, what do you say to some of the younger guys or what do you do personally to set an example when wins are, are tough to find or string together at this point? Uh, I think it's just important to have fun. Um, obviously, we don't put on our gear to lose. I mean, no one that's a competitor ever goes out trying to lose. And you know what? It has been a little bit of a grind and there's times where it's, it, it's not fun. No one likes losing. But I think the competitor and each, each of us we, w we want to win, we really do. And I think the important part is we're playing a kid's game. I mean, if you would have told me when I was five years old that I was going to collect a paycheck to, to play, I would have been more than happy to take that at any level. So I think sometimes we lose perspective that it, it, it's a fun game. It's a child's game, and we've got to take that approach that, hey, like if we're loose and having fun and just enjoy coming to the rink, it's going to make everything so much more, more enjoyable as a team and, and as a unit. And... If we keep that approach and keep working hard, I, I believe wins will, will start falling in the W category. Well, Kyle, hope you have fun tonight, and best luck against Kalamazoo. Thank you. Back to you, Jordan. Thank you, Jared and Kyle. Don't forget to come out down to the arena tonight at 7.05 p.m. for Willow Creek Wednesday. Until next time, have a good day.